Tonight, neighbors are outraged after a man was shot and killed at a homeless camp they say is getting out of control. Austin police arrested 41-year-old Damon Boyd. Court documents say Boyd got into an argument with the victim. This happened along Mopac in 290 near Sunset Valley. KXAN's Eugene Cho spoke with people who want the rules changed so that the camps are no longer allowed. I don't know what uh, to say other than I am outraged that our our district rep has abandoned us. Tim Altanera says there are multiple homeless camps here. Where the deadly shooting happened is one. Another one, he says, is just 1,500 feet up the road. There, we saw several shopping carts, trash, and even a mattress. Many neighbors tell me they have a lot of concerns about this homeless camp. First, it's really well hidden behind that tree line back there, and it's been getting bigger in recent months. The homeless camp here, I've been here 30 years, and there was no homeless camp here to this extent. Within the red area, this is the city of Sunset Valley's area. Those camps are just outside Sunset Valley, where camping in public is prohibited. Um, we enforce our city's ordinances, and we do it on this side of that red line. The police chief told us last spring they did start a cleanup program. What happens outside of our city limit has an impact on our city as well, and we often end up cleaning, you know, old campsites, debris from campsites. Those frustrated with Austin's policy want the city to reinstate a stricter camping ban. I think a majority of Austin residents believe that the system we had in June um, kept our city safe enough. Altanero says in areas like this, the city should do a better job at enforcing what it can. It is illegal to trash the watersheds like this, but I haven't seen anything done in the past six or eight weeks about it. Eugene Cho, KXAN News. We reached out to Austin's Watershed Protection Department today. They said they'll look into this area, and what they find out will determine what happens next. Several groups hope to put Austin's camping rules on a ballot initiative this November. They're working to get enough signatures. In October, police revealed violent crimes involving people who are homeless were increasing. They tracked data between July and September in 2018 and 2019. It showed more crimes happened in 2019 when both the victim and the suspect were homeless. There was an increase in cases where the victim was a homeless person and also when the suspect was a homeless person.